lots of us use banks, insurance companies, financial advisors without anything going wrong. But if you're unhappy with something you've been sold, like payment protection insurance, or you're dissatisfied with the service, many people don't know how to make a complaint and feel very daunted. But it should be quite straightforward, and these are the steps you should take. First, contact the firm as soon as you can and make it clear you're making a complaint and what you're complaining about. You can contact them by phone, face-to-face -face, or by letter. It's handy to have details, references and dates to hand. And if you're complaining by post, send any relevant paperwork, but make sure you keep the originals. Contacting the firm yourself should be quite straightforward, but if you feel you need help, then organisations like your local Citizens Advice Bureau should be able to help you for free. We require firms regulated by us to investigate your complaint, to treat you fairly in doing so, and to respond within eight weeks. If the firm agrees with your complaint, they may offer you compensation. Read through any offer you're made carefully and make sure you understand what's being said before accepting any offer. If you're not happy with the response, or if the firm rejects your complaint, that doesn't mean that's the end of the complaints process. The Financial Ombudsman Service is your next step. The Ombudsman is a free, independent service to resolve disputes between financial services firms and their customers. They will look at both sides of the case and make a decision. It's not a daunting process and the Ombudsman will help you with your case, but make sure you contact them within six months of the firm giving their final answer to your complaint. If your complaint is about pensions, you should contact the Pensions Advisory Service. Again, they're a free and independent service. If you don't accept the decision by the Financial Ombudsman Service, then you could still take your case to court, though for most people that would be a last resort. Making a complaint to the firms we regulate is straightforward and free. There are specialist claims management companies who may offer to help you with your complaint, but they will charge for it. If they don't ask for an upfront fee, they may require to do it on a no-win, no-fee basis, which could mean you paying up to a third of the compensation you receive to the claims management company. Remember, you don't need to use one of these companies because the process is easy and free. And to note, some of these companies will work hard to try to persuade you to use them, and some will use tactics like cold calling. So think very hard before you use a claims management company. But if you do decide to use one, make sure they're authorised by the Ministry of Justice and make sure they're clear about what all this is going to cost you. We require firms to publish information on how they handle complaints, so you can see how many complaints your firm has received and how well they've handled them. Firms that receive 500 or more complaints in a six-month period are required to publish the following information. How many complaints they've opened and closed, the percentage that are dealt with within eight weeks, and the percentage of complaints that are upheld. We do this because we believe it will improve the standard of complaints handling across the industry and most importantly because it improves the way that your firm treats you.